we did as the as the project grew and as time went by we we got to know developers and contractors and we had our favorites of course and uh, uh, those who could commit to completing a project in a timely fashion and uh, could demonstrate that ability then we'd make a deal with them and th these guys would uh, acquire uh, an assemblage of properties. That's how the Wexford condominiums was built. That's how the Donegal condominiums were built uh, uh, through developers' efforts. Who were some of your favorite developers back then? Mike Curran was the one I... Uh, this is a young man who um, came here from Minnesota with a dime in his pocket, actually, and and was renting a place on the 4300 block of Laclede. But he did exquisite work, and he still may be in business now, as, uh, for what I know. So he did, he did several of the buildings that, that uh, I was interested in. Another one was Ann Watka, uh, a young lady who's about my age, would have been my age, but she, had, she died early of, a, of an aneurysm. But she did some really beautiful work at a time when women didn't didn't do that at all and uh, so uh, and she was another individual she worked with her family in order to to be able to do that and uh, uh, Steve Trampy was Steve Trampy yes I was trying to recall his name